Hi, Woody Watwood here, and welcome back to Football Manager 2020. Um, we, I have been busy. I must admit, um, I've been um, trying to sort out the sheer size of the squad. It is absolutely huge uh, in this under 23. So, I've tried to get rid of an absolute ton of players. Um, if we have a look at our development list, there's a load of people on that. Um, but more importantly, if we go to our unwanted players, look at that for a list. So that's people that are actually worth money, and then people that really aren't. Um, and we're trying to get rid of them. Um, not a massive amount, but uh, individually. But when you add them up, you know it's it's a couple of thousand off the wage bill a week, which over the course of a year, hundred grand. Um, which, when you got a budget the size of ours, is about fifteen, sixteen percent. You know. Um, okay, uh, of our balance, sorry, not of our budget, um, my mistake. Um, so so that's part of the plan there. Um, Schedule-wise, we haven't been performing very well. We actually got stuffed two home, back-to-back -back home games, 3-0. That's just not acceptable. Um, we've only won one of our five league games. Now, th this is quite a tough period, um, the teams that we've played. Looking forward to um, Cheltenham away in ninth, Crew away in seventh. Now we know they're a good side. They beat us at our place in the cup. Um, we've then got League One Tranmere, who are doing well in League One. We've got them in the cup. And then we go into a much better period in September. So we've got Scunthorpe at home, Stevenage at home. So they're sixteenth and nineteenth. Then we're away at Newport, who are currently fourteenth. Rochdale at home, who are fifth. That's a difficult game. And then away at Port Vale, who are sixth. But three of those games are addressable. Um, October continues much the same. Exeter, 22nd. Um, uh, we've then got Sheffield United under 23s. Um, then we're away at Morgan, who are 23rd. Gillingham, who are 8th. So back at home against Salford in 17th. Ebsley, Timor, Rock Bottom. And then we're away at Grimsby in 12th. So, you know, and, and then we start the FA Cup. And finish off the group stage of the the leasing.com trophy um so maybe we've just been a little bit unlucky with the fixtures that we've had december's looking much kinder as well um so maybe we've just got a lot of really tough games out of the way in the first five games um but who knows it might be that things get worse and just because rotch uh, just because i don't know um gillingham no just because morecambe 23rd at the moment it doesn't mean in what two four six eight nine games time so after the next eight games it doesn't mean they're going to be 23rd still um they are expected to finish around that position but so are we so you know if, if, if we don't want to be in that position why why on earth would we accept that they would be um right enough wittering um all about that i've also created um so this is a formation um, that we had um, for part of last season um, and it just goes back to having two up front five at the back three across the middle um, recent matches obviously there's issues but um, we've then got this which effectively is the same formation it's a little more cautious and um, a little more disciplined and it pulls Shelton back into defensive midfield so it really packs that defensive area and this is where we would look to hit them on a break um, against the team that are performing much better than than we are so we're probably going to use this in the next game away Charlton and then formation three it's a bit more aggressive it's still balanced in its approach I haven't sorted out uh, this area yet and um, we start off with a clean slate, but this is sort of the formation that we're looking to play. Obviously, the players are all in the wrong position. Um, but I've also created some quick picks here, so effectively, that would be the the choice of team in that formation. If we go back to um, this one, we'd go with that. So we we we're kind of um, I think I'm a bit happier with with what we've got available. Um, there should be a load of news coming through. Uh, we've had loads of offers for for some of our loan players and stuff as well. So uh, at the moment we've accepted um, 
an offer for Daniel Dodds and I think we've also accepted them for Chikwana as well uh, for loans but we rejected loads of the others because they weren't going to pay the bills you know they weren't going to pay the salaries so what's the point of me getting rid of them um whole point is I want to reduce the wage budget so uh, right Dodds unhappy problems I've kept um Right, Daniel Dodds is unhappy his promise is not being kept. Um, because I wouldn't have talked to Solly Hulmores. You're still talking to Darlington and Shadow Shields. Um, because they promised to play him a bit more. Uh, you promised me a little move, but then blocked it when an offer came in. Uh, give me a little while longer. I want to leave. Uh, Good. You're going out on loan anyway, mate. Why didn't you neck in? Right. Um, so we want to sign this player, 17 year old. And stupidly, when I try to talk to him, I click walk away before we even negotiated this to check something out when I should have just clicked back. So anyway, he's on, I tried to then sign him on it. Um, trial basis didn't work Matt Lock have come in um, with a transfer offer great so I, I did offer him off uh, for free with a 10% um, uh, with, with a 10% uh, thing for next um, when they sell if they go on to sell him we get 10% of what they what they get from which would be let's be honest next to nothing but it gets him off the wage bill and he's on 300 quid a week so um, that's good uh, Maidstone and Matlock have made offers uh, for Ollie Scott uh, fringe player regular starter they're in the south they're in the north Matlock come in for all right okay so we're going to reject this one because we don't want him to Um, one at the same time, I want to join uh, Matlock. Uh, I told I really think we should get through to Matlock. You'd be a big fish from small, small, which would be made to stand out. Playing time. Right. Okay, we'll let you go there. Um, I think he might be good enough to play anyway. Who's their left back? Yeah, you're better than him. So, right. Um, Loan offers me for Rathburn. Both offering regular starter. Um, I'm absolutely fine with that. So we're not looking to get any, any, any money here for, for his wages. Um, you know, if they want to pay some, that's absolutely fine. Um, but I'm not after that. This is to get uh, this is to get uh, playing time. Dodds looks to force a move. You know what? If someone wants to give me the money for you, I'll, I'll take it, but I don't think anyone does. You're talking about forcing a move, you idiot. Right, okay, never mind. Right. Uh, Clay been trying to force away from Blythe. This one is just. Nothing. 
I see it. Okay, so there's more news coming there. We've just sold those shuttle down. Lazio have offered 36 million for Jorginho, so oh, I think I'll leave him. I think I'll let Lazio have him. Why not? Uh, KGM Media, um, Bradford prepare for Scunthorpe. Um, we are at Cheltenham. No offers for five players. People still don't want their slot. Um, I only offered him for loan, I think. Um, so he wants someone to help him sell. So we are running out on that respect. wants me to find a former Man United player so if we go transfer history we go there um, Ethan Hamilton Mitchell Dion McGee Oh he's pretty good Anyway yeah. I'm just going to have to upset him I think um, Blackwell fails to try offer. Blackwell will be given a free transfer. FC United have made an offer for Hood. Could have swore I said I wanted uh, money for him though. So I don't want to sell them for free. Um, so transfer. Right, let's. Where's my director of football? Transfer unwanted list. Where's Nicholas Wood? Okay, asking price. Minimum acceptable amount. Right. Uh, instructions. Do nothing. Offer to clubs. Percentage in next sale, twenty five per cent. Right. Uh, Bridges training report. Blood under eighteens suffered defeat. And Orizinski's You can play it. So let's uh, head to the inconsistent Tottenham.
Um, Shelton is an Anchorman. Make sure if that's right. Half back. And ball winning midfielder. I think we'll do that. Just puts him in a better position. And we've got two wing backs. Now the reason for this one is the back four. Um, I'll just be a bit more aggressive up front. But we'll go with this for now. Um, let's save that formation. Uh, 5-1-2-2. Two, two. Save. Okay, let's um, see what his advice here is. Um, right, these are just the adjustments I made. Uh, distribute the centre backs. Yeah, let's do that then. I suppose it stops us inviting pressure straight back on ourselves. No, no pressure. Let's go. Broom should play sweeper. <laughs> I'm here all week. Um, Fossey, good block. Who is that? Oh, that's even Riley. Right, okay. Shelton has it. Knocks it back to Hock and Hull. Gives the ball away. Oh, he's let the cross in. Dangerous free kick. I think second chance. Fossil getting fussy. Look at it. And then Hannah ahead of here. But he doesn't seem to have in there to a match anymore. Anyway. We've got short hair clearly. And then we look at that. Pressure on Tarazi. That's the finish. And the pressure's on. Fossil to Broom. Go Tracy from distance. We're just not putting anywhere near enough pressure on people. Disappointing. So I see spears blocked by CJ Ryan. I'm going to defend a bit wider. And a bit deeper. Oh, 
Chelsea. Back by Kate. Back to Olesinski. Here then, if Olesinski down the right, Hughes brings it forward. Can't see the back in. Whitaker, good header, good save. Yeah, we do need to take chances when they become available. Tracy, by Tracy again, and a block by the Nielsen. This is in, to Alzee, to Fossey. Good time by Ethan Riley. Draw another chance, but he's in the lane. Riley right near post. And that's half time. not having a good game. Only 15 minutes to correct that. Another dangerous cross and that's three now. CJ Riley back to Hockenhall, plays it for Shelton to Bridge. Bridge has space to run. Whitaker in behind the defensive line and scores. Well done, Whitaker. Tonerov not having a great game. Um, he's going to swap with uh, Hayden and then with Colvin. And we're going to bring. Oh dear. Hidden's not even on the bench. Charlie Bell. Charlie Ball. Have a good, good game in North Shelton. Even Riley wins it. He's been alright. Give the ball there. Seems like a prison. Seems like that Trace is good block. Good block. Is that a corner? It is, but to Charlton. Uh, Whitaker has it. Foul. Oh, Ben Tozer's come on. He used to play for Newcastle. Um, right, so maybe Cavalio and Manqua is going to come on in defence in defensive midfield. And then Jack Bridge going to come off for Cameron King. Cavalio trying to play the ball in. Hunting, 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 the ball. 15 of them, still 3 1. <sighs> Defender dives in, it's a cross. Ozinski plucks it confidently out of the air. 
foot forward. Ball to the fuzzy and we're under pressure again. Kane wins the tackle. CJ picks a loose ball up, then loses possession. And Manco makes the tackle. Back and set to Thomas over the ball. Rosinski forward. Losing. CJ tries to move back, gives it to May. Good save by Rosinski. Colvin puts it on for a throw. Hughes to a Manqua. To Colvin, to Hughes. Forward to Ball. Back to King. King distributes. Whitaker. Volley. 3 2. Great ball forward by King. And we pulled it back. It's a great ball again. Lovely ball by uh, King. It's a volley in front of the defender. And it's 3 2. Ben Toza to me. Ben Toza with a chance. Great choice of crosses. Hopping all the way. And that's 4 2. Edge of the area. Ball Santana. Defending on the boot. Smashes it on the hand wall. Oh, Rosensky with 15 seconds to go. Todd Rov knocks it forward to Whitaker, who's probably going to be man of the match. King tries to spray it out wide on the right, and that is full time. Two goals and man of the match for Terrell Whitaker. But we went down 4 2. And we dropped to 22nd. Still ahead of Morecambe and ahead of Ebbsfleet. Morecambe went 3 0 down at Plymouth. Um, and Ebbsfleet 1 0 at Grimsby. So I'm going to big up his finishing. Leighton Orient won't discuss the deal for Fafana. So this is another 17 year old that we found. So I've targeted some 17 year olds on the basis that uh, if we get them in, in three years time they'll have trained at the club for three years. I know it's kind of a long term thing but it just improves the quality of what we've what we've got really. So we can get them for 61 grand in compensation. They're seeing them on 26 and a percentage of the next sale. Um, I mean, it might account to nothing. But if we said 30%, 20 grand. I'm going to make that offer. Just in. Breakthrough prospect. Negotiate. So on three years, you're getting your yearly wage removed, you're getting that, and you're getting that. Right. Um, we'll give you the minimum wage, you can have that. And then 25% when you get to 10 games. And another 25% when you get to there. I also want to close in. Um, can 
we'll do two no two yeah so we can keep you for five let's see what you see out of that that option and extension um, that's all fine Runs 250 after five games. So 10 games you can go to that, 20 games you can go to that. You can have 50 there. 75, 25. That there. That there you can have 200, 250, 300. That's fair. Non negotiable. Okay. Borukov. Far expensive. I hold a team meeting. Right, we've been doing okay lately, uh, we've been playing really well. Oof. So it's all about headstone drops, so we've got that one there. Uh, stay up. Um. So that's him we've been bad, which is a bit in the squad and we're lacking it positions maybe not. I think that. Phew. Um North is for Hood. Teams want him. Bailey fails to attract offers, so has been given a three. Borough have rejected Coburn. And the Blues have rejected. I give you five percent. The five grand, I mean. <laughs> Thirty four. You could give you ten. Final offer. Uh, honest men reject Davison. Is on the transfer that's right okay okay Don's home freeze isn't for sale at any price on a free She rejected the offer from Matlock. Great. Okay. 
shit. But it's not going to come to us now. Then a coolie is a striker. Laying is gone. I'm looking at towards the end of the week. Rockman has got a new deal, which is good. It's now professional. And then he goes to Bosley. Heather Inton is gone on a free. Um, Poland in the 20s. Good for him. Second round. Who knocked us out of that again? It was a crew. Yeah, they lost 1 0 at Salford. Scott is going to Maidstone. Powered reports. And Brace has now gone on a free. Um, Andy Janjiva and Todorov both called up, okay. So here we are at the end of the week. Oh, we've got offers in under 18 with McEwen. Transfer Don't tell us I've been spending money to get rid of these kids on deals. Um, non negotiable, they won't give us any future closes. Reject. Cincinnati and offer. Oh, we wanted him. He still won't talk to us. Never mind. So. Yep, annoying that we've been paying to get rid of people without realising it. And there we are at the end of the week. So we're going to call that the end of the episode. Uh, thank you so much for joining. Um, it's a struggle. It's going to be a long, hard season. Uh, but hopefully we can turn around and stay in the division. Um, not much more to say other than keep well, come back for the next episode, hit subscribe if you still haven't done so, um, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.